All right, back, um, we're still working on section one, two, absolute value. Um, we've done a couple examples already. Now we're gonna look at a new definition called the midpoint. Right, midpoint is in the middle of a line. So let's look. Let's mark A and B on a line. And midpoint is just the midpoint, right? Halfway, we'll call it M. That's our midpoint. And so the easiest way to do it is just average them out. A plus B divided by two. And so then we get these two equal pieces. So the distance from A to M is equal from the distance from M to B, same distance. So let's go back to that same one. We were looking at negative three to negative seven. We did this in the previous video. Right, we found that the distance was 10. And the midpoint should be halfway in between. So without the formula, I'm gonna cut that in half. So it looks like those smaller distances should each be five. So I'm gonna cut it in half, but let's use that midpoint formula. So we're just gonna do negative three plus seven. We're gonna divide it by two. So this isn't measuring the distance, this is telling me what the actual midpoint is. So negative three plus seven would be four over two. So my midpoint would be two. And we could check, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get that equal distance. Pretty straightforward, hopefully. If not, send me a message. Um, let's make things a little bit more pre-calculus thinking um, where we have to do maybe a little bit extra steps and go a little backwards. So now I know the midpoint is of A and B is M. And so I wanna find the midpoint. Oh, sorry, I already know the midpoint is negative one. So I'm gonna draw a picture, it's gonna help. So we know negative one is the midpoint. Um, it looks like A and B are unknown. And we're gonna to try to find A and B. Um, so what do we know so far? We know the distance from A to M is two. So from A to M, that would be two. So negative one, negative two, and negative three, that would be a distance of two. So we could use the number line or we could use the formula, right? So the distance formula was absolute value. So A plus, oops, A minus M, absolute value. Actually, let's, yeah, I like it this way. Let's do this for now. Well, I'll remind you how to solve absolute values in a second. Um, I think visual is more efficient here right now. And then how do I find B. So the distance has to be the same, right? So one, two. So it would be zero, and then B would be one. So A equals negative three, B equals one. We could always check the midpoint of A and B. So we average them out, negative three plus one over two, negative two over two, and we got negative one, which is what we thought the midpoint was. So just getting us in a little bit backwards thinking, we're not always plugging into formulas. Sometimes we're drawing graphs and kind of seeing what makes sense. It's not always about immediately plugging into a formula. Um, so let me review how to solve in inequalities and then that could be another option for example four. Uh, so just in case we don't remember, um, when we solve absolute values, it basically, um, we have two s solutions, right? X minus five, absolute value is 10. That's basically telling us the inside could be 10 because the absolute value is 10, or the inside could be negative 10 because that also has an absolute value of 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this inner function and set it equal to 10 or negative 10 to solve for x. Right, because either one of those would make the statement true. If I plugged in 10 or negative 10 inside of an absolute value, we would get 10 as the output. So let's solve. 
at five, right? Linear, I will solve quickly because that is an algebra topic. If you need more linear, I can always send you videos. So I get x is 15, and that makes sense. 15 minus five is 10. And then for the other side, I get negative five. So negative five plus negative five is negative 10. But since I'm taking an absolute value, it becomes 10. So that also works. So two solutions. So we'll jump into inequalities on the next video. So inequalities are really what we're more interested in in, in pre-calc, right? Equations, we've done that before, hopefully. If not, there's your quick refresher. So I'll see you in the next video.